Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. I hope you are doing well. You know, if you are also facing, you know, a very terrifying problem with your laptop, all right, whereby whenever you try to, like, um, to boot the laptop, you know, it doesn't boot, all right. You press the power button and then the laptop is not minding you, right? So I figured out how to fix the problem and I will show you how you can also follow the same steps and then get the problem solved with your laptop, all right? So for me, I would say this is probably... Um, you know, the first time that this issue occurred and then I had to really struggle to fix it, all right? That's why I'm making this video. If not, this problem has been occurring with my laptop um, or even the laptops that I've used in the past. But I always fix it by just simply, um, you know, switching off the laptop and turning it on, all right? And that is it. But this time around... I tried all that I'm used to, it never worked, you know, and then I had to, you know, learn it the harder way. So I just thought of sharing with you. So what usually happens is that, like, you will turn on the laptop, I mean, you, you press on the power button, and then the laptop refuses to turn on, all right? And then when you fix the charger, all right, when you fix the charger of your laptop, you would also notice that the charger of the laptop will not be, I mean, the, the, the laptop will not be charging. So I have the problem now fixed. I'm so sorry about that. I think I should have recorded the problem while it was still on. I mean, I should have recorded, you know, my laptop at the stage where it was still having a problem before actually doing the recording. Okay. But that is because I was struggling how to, you know, solve it. All right. So now that I found a solution, I still thought of what showing you what happens. So I'm going to explain in detail what exactly is happening. All right. Or what? Yes. So you realize that when you turn on the, the laptop, right, you press the power button, your laptop wouldn't turn on. You just see like the power indicator here showing that, you know what, whatever reason, you just stay like this. All right. But the screen remains black. And then you also notice that the charger will not be charging. Right now the problem is fixed. So you see that the, 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 is the, the laptop is actually charging. Usually, especially with HP laptops, uh, there's always a power indicator on the power button. Okay, when it's on, when the laptop is on, then you see this small light here. Meaning that the laptop is on. Though it's now in sleep mode, alright. And then when the, the PC... When the laptop is fully charged, you will usually realize that this light will turn white. That's for HP. Other laptops, there might not even be any light or anything, or it will be a different color. So, but with HP, this is what often happens. So, usually, the power button, there will be a light indicator here, which is usually white. And then, when the laptop is fully charged, this one too becomes white. All right? But even if the laptop is fully charged and then you unplug the charger and replug the charger, when you fix the charger, you always realize that this uh, light will always turn uh, red and then quickly switch to white to tell you that, okay, uh, you are about to charge your, your, your laptop. Okay, so you, you plug the charger, so it turned red to tell you that it's charging. And then it quickly switches to white to tell you that the battery is already is fully charged. So that is normal. But when I was facing this particular problem, I noticed that when I unplug the charger and replug it, this light remains white. It just remains white, which shows that the PC wasn't what charging at all. Okay, so it wasn't because it was fully charged, but the PC wasn't charging at all. So this light was just white. 
and then whenever I press on the power button, the PC wouldn't boot. You know, I tried to press on the power button and then press on the escape key, it never worked out. You see? And then I tried other tips, you know, I watched several other YouTube videos. So I'm taking my time to narrate this way so that you get the whole scenario and then you will see how you can also fix it by following the steps that I'm showing you. The other step that people told me was that I should what? I should press on the power button, all right? So the purpose of pressing on the power button is to make sure that you drain your battery completely. Okay, so what you they, they suggested was that I unplug the charger, all right? And then after unplugging the charger, that I should uh, press on the power button, press and hold, okay? Press and hold on the power button uh, until, let's say, the PC goes off. And then when the PC goes off, I would then what? Um... I will, I will press and hold for like I said that until the PC goes off until yes yeah, the power on the the power indicator here until just press and hold it's simple just press and hold on the power button for like 15 to uh, a minute 15 seconds some would say 30 minutes some would say a minute you know so if you want you can just press and hold the power button for as long as one minute or 30 minutes 30 30 seconds and then you leave it and after which you replug your charger and then you press on the power button so that your laptop would then what boot i tried that it never worked out for me unfortunately you know so i had to figure out it another way to fix the problem you know and that is what i'm going to sh show you in case you have tried this and it did not work for you uh in some cases Uh, sorry, I just tried to grab my charger because it had fallen. So normally, you know, normally it was supposed to work, all right? But for me today, that method did not work, you know, so I had to figure out another method. And now this new method consists of what? This new method, what I did was that I, you know, I just told myself I had to open my laptop to figure out what was happening. And then what I did was that, so you see that I have my tools here, as you can see, I have my tools right here, all right? And then this is actually the back cover of the laptop, as you can see. This is the back cover of my laptop, all right? This is HP, MV, whatever, for some of the details of the model. So what I did was that, but any other laptop, I'm, I'm sure if you apply what I'm going to show you, it's supposed to work. So what I did was that I simply opened my laptop, all right? So to open your laptop, you'll definitely need what some tools, all right? Like at least you need to get a tools box with different type of um, screwdrivers to make sure that, you know, you don't run short of. <laughs> um, or you could use a knife or even a scissors, you know? whatever just to be able to open your laptop just that you need to be careful not to spoil the chassis of your laptop okay all right so once so let me show you the back of my laptop what i actually did all right so i'm gonna close the laptop just to show you what i did to fix the problem all right so the laptop is quite big all right I'm trying to, I'm holding the camera with one hand and then the laptop is one on the other hand. So it's not very easy, but I'll, I'll do it for you. All right. So what I did was that, as, can, as I told you, this is actually the, what do you call it? This is the, the back cover of the, the, the laptop, right? So this normally this is how the laptop is supposed to be. All right. And then all these screws that you see here were tied here. And then these plastics were here, you know. I had to remove them to be able to access some of the screws. 
So depending on how your laptop is made, you may be struggling to open it. You know, I figured out how to open it. So make sure you get a, a nice tools box or a knife, whatever that you have. You unscrew all the screws, all right? And then you open your laptop. So this is what I did. I opened the laptop this way. And then after I did that, what I did was that. So you see that the... Um, the, the laptop is open all right as you can see and then what i did was that i unscrewed this is the battery all right so you see this is the battery of your laptop maybe if you are using a different model your battery will be placed elsewhere but this sign shows that this is the battery of a laptop right so for me this is the battery here and here are the terminals of the battery if you can see well here are the terminals of the battery right so you have positive and negative so the battery is actually connected to you know the whole pc system at this spot right so what i did was that i used this screwdriver all right to unscrew all the different screws that were holding the battery so i unscrewed everything just remove all the screws so that the battery can be what removable all right so once you do that, you don't have to remove the battery. You are not going to remove the battery. Don't do that, okay? Because in the process, you may end up, especially if you are not a technical guy, you may end up, you know, tearing some wires or something that will end up spoiling your PC. So you are not going to remove your battery. But once you unscrew your battery, okay, you remove all the screws that hold your battery, you know, you remove all of them, you remove all of them, you just remove all the screws, right? You know? Once you finish removing all the screws that hold your battery, all right, you simply try removing the battery, okay? So you see that here is where it's connected to the, the PC, right? So you simply hold somewhere here, you see mine? So you just hold it like this. And then you you try, you see that there are some wires behind there, so you don't have, you, you have to be careful else you end up tearing some wires see these wires go to the speakers or whatever so however your pc is built just be careful but you you gently drag the battery out of its uh this point you know out of its terminals so you have to do that very very carefully as i'm telling you all right you know so gently do it you know you see what i'm doing so gently remove it all right once you do this you know i'm being careful because of this what this wires here this wires here i could also remove the wires gently before but that would take time but just just make an attempt detaching the battery from its terminals okay just by lifting it this way means that the, you know you create some kind of um detachment all right so once you do you finish doing that you fix back the battery properly all right if you can remove it you can just remove it from mine i don't want to remove it because this wire here is clipped so if i should try removing it directly then i'll end up tearing the wire i don't want to do that so but once you try detaching it from here just shake it okay just shake it or try removing it from the terminal here once you do that just fix it back properly all right and then you can now screw back all these uh, screws that hold your battery, right? Look at mine. You just pick, put them back and screw everything. And when you, you are done, you uh, turn on your laptop, right? So just turn it over. Make sure you also close the, the back cover of your laptop and everything, right? But before you do that, you can test to make sure that the problem is fixed. So once you just shift your battery and put it back, now turn back your battery turn back your computer all right turn it back so let me do that all right so you make sure you gently okay so that the battery will not be detached okay so you just turn back your computer this way and then you open it okay once you open it you press on the power button to turn it on and when you turn on the computer 
uh, you see a certain blue screen appearing after which that blue screen will disappear and then your PC will turn back on okay it will boot back without any problem so this is the simplest solution remove the battery of your laptop you know open you know because most of these laptops these days the battery is internal if the battery is external then you can easily remove it and fix it back but if the battery is that's if it's external if it's internal then you have to uh, open the chassis just like i did right you open it then you remove the battery and fix it back and then plug your charger and boot the computer and you will not have this problem if the problem persists you could choose to also remove the ram and put it back okay or if you have like two rams remove one of the rams see what happens if you are able to boot with just the one ram then you could leave it that way it means that ram is faulty or you uh yeah or you just when you remove it and put it back and you're able to boot it to then it means it's just whatever you know that is just it just like my case i just had to remove the battery which is inside and put it back plug back the charger this computer started charging normally and i'm done so a simple i repeat again remove your battery put it back and let's see what happens if it doesn't work try removing your rams and putting them back or if you have like double rams remove one of the rams try to boot and see if whether it will be it will boot and whether the computer will be charging if not put it back remove the other ram and try so this is how i fix it thank you so much for watching and i hope this helped bye